Hi everyone, welcome back to I Enigma. This is Enigma. I'm going to do Libra from 15 to 22nd of September. Let's see what are the messages for you. Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs in Libra. This is going to be a general reading, so take what resonates and leave what does not. For more personal and accurate reading, reach out for WhatsApp, Instagram, on WhatsApp, Instagram and email. Also do white prayer based spells for high skirt. Now also send out pure energized intention based crystals personalized for you. You can check out other offers, updates, feedbacks on my Instagram and free horoscopes every month on my Instagram. So do follow me there. Last but not the least, do subscribe to my channel on YouTube. Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus in Libra. Let's see what are the messages for you from 15 to 22. We have... Hangman, we have all right, Page of Cups, Devil, Wheel of Fortune, King of Cups, King of Wands, Hangman, Knight of Wands, and the Star. I'm seeing two people coming in for you. I'm also sensing that Libra, uh, you have gone through some series of ups and downs in your love life, and uh, there was a kind of a player situation happening in your life earlier i feel like there was someone that has been literally uh, you know have you wrapped around their finger and were playing you according to their needs were like trying to control you i feel like this could have been an older person who always claimed that they love you but it was not love it was just lust i feel like the moment you jumped out of that kind of a connection bumped out of it I'm seeing series of changes taking place. Luck is happening for you. You know, you're about to meet the two people where you will be stuck between because both are passionate about you. I'm seeing uh, there's a whole new change in your energy because you are getting a lot of attention. It's also because you're taking care of yourself much better than before and you're passionate for achieving something in your life as well. Okay. So Libras, I'm also seeing this someone from the past hitting back, okay? Maybe one of these options is the past coming back to you. And then I feel like you have two people coming in where you might be stuck because both of them want you desperately. One of them could be the past person that's still lusting over you, but then there's someone that is in love with you and you're not able to decide. So I'm also seeing a Pisces or an Aquarius or a Sagittarius or a Capricorn hitting in, but the energy around you is much more calm and at peace. I'm feeling your emotions are pretty balanced and you're taking good care of your body, especially uh, your skin. And there's something about your pictures I feel like is attracting a lot of suitors towards you. I feel like the one that is in love with you is someone from your work. Okay, someone through your work. You may have met this person in their workplace or your workplace. But I'm seeing that this connection is growing okay you're falling in love you both are falling in love with each other all right please clarify five of pentacles okay king of cups seven of swords Three of Cups, and then we have the Queen of Pentacles, and then we have the uh, Ten of Pentacles. Hmm. I feel like the person that is in love with you is having someone else in their life. Maybe they're about to get a divorce, they're already married, and the person is very, very toxic, and they want to get rid of them to be with you, and all their person wants is their money. And you're in that state of confusion where you might be taking help from your friends or your uh, colleague, maybe she or he is in your workplace and that person is guiding you like what should be done, you might be taking their guidance. So I feel like you're not able to decide whether you should give this person a chance or not because something is happening in their life that you're, you are in a love triangle. Like there's a third party situation between you and your person of interest. And the one, I feel like you're, you're, you're scared of being taken advantage of or later on being cheated on by this person because you're not able to trust them as long as they're with this third person 
in their life. Okay, so I'm feeling that is the reason why you might not be talking to them. But if you're not talking to this person, they're missing you. And so are you. You, go, you guys both are imitating each other, mirroring each other's energies. You both want to talk to each other. You both are desperately wanting to connect. But there's a third party that's creating the fuzz. Or it could be the third person that is married is trying to come between you and your person. Any of these two. I'm also seeing maybe there's someone from the past in your life that wants to come and break this relationship. So there are people around you that are acting like your uh, friends, but are actually your enemies and trying to create a lot of obstacles between this connection to dwell up. So as many people you're going to share your problems with or about your love life with, the more problems or obstacles you will be facing moving on. Okay. And then we have the Six of Wands, and then we have the Page of Swords, and then we have the Eight of Wands, and yeah. Hmm. Libra, I feel like your person is trying to connect with you, and you might not be talking to them because of something that you've come to know about their life, which has uh, frightened you and pushed you away from them because you've started to doubt this person. You may also have taken a tarot reading where you might have been told about this, that they've been cheating on you or they have someone else in their life and things won't work out, stuff like that. I feel this person wants to make you understand that this is not the case in that you you must listen to them for once. I feel like this person is trying their best to connect with you so that they can tell you what's going on. And they're not losing any hope and they really care about you. They don't want to see you sad. They don't want to see you cry. They really care for you. You might not know this, but they do. Okay. So they're stalking you. They're spying on you. Wondering what's going on in, in your life. And this person wants a union. Like they want you back. They you are their like wish come true and they just want things to get back to normal. Okay. But the third party still remains. There's a situation like that happening. Okay. A similar situation for many of the Libras here. So there's an involvement of three, you know, third parties, third person in the situation could be any anybody with fool. The Tower, Seven of Cups, Two of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles, the High Priest. You're not sure what needs to be done here. Libra, you're tired. You're trying to get answers. You're trying to get, you know, you're trying to be the detective and get to know what's what's happening actually. Okay? You want to check. You want to, you know, uh, investigate this by yourself. Until and unless you don't find a proof, you will not trust this person. And I feel like the more you're thinking... The more confused you're getting and the more you're doubting this person to be yours in the near future. And uh, you're like almost in the verge of giving up because you're not sure what needs to be done here. So you need a proper guidance over here, I feel. Okay. I'm feeling your intuition is kind of telling you that there's something wrong here. Okay. And you're not able to like... I don't see you able to interpret what your intuition is trying to guide you or tell you, oh my gosh, eight of wands. There's a strong energy of someone wanting to connect with you and tell you that you're the only one that they want. And this person feels a strong connection towards you. Yeah, they want a reconciliation. This person is spying on you. They're going to chase you really, really hard. They're not going to let you go. You're the only one for them. Here, I feel like, Libra, you are asking them for space so that you can just revive yourself up. You may have blocked this person. I feel like they're finding... Uh, different ways to reach out to you and get back to you and you know sort things out because I feel like this passion is just boundless this person is like extremely passionate for you like they want to say a lot of things that you might not be aware of and I feel like you're not ready to listen to them for your you know uh, peace of mind so I feel like you should give them a chance and listen to what they need to say to you okay all right, Libra, please. What else is there? Yeah. Okay, the word and the hair font. I feel like this person thinks about you a lot and they want to take it forward towards marriage for sure, but they're stuck. There's something that's still holding them back. Maybe their responsibility towards their family. Maybe their family is asking them to stay, not get divorced. Or there's something that's, you know, um, 
that they're trying to end a chapter but it's not ending and that is why they're just keeping you in this confused phase where you don't know who you are to this person this could be a libra um sorry this could be a taurus this could be a sagittarius as well but i'm definitely seeing that they're trying to find a way out where they can have an emotional new start new beginning see i told you ace of cups they want to you know they want to you know create you know they want to justify this connection they want to make this they want to name this connection they really know that you're the one they want to marry but there are a lot of things that they have to face like there are a lot of challenges they will be have to facing uh, they will be facing in order to have you in their life so this is like kind of creating a lot of fuzz in their life and you you don't want to be a part of it somewhere i feel like they want you to support them if they say something like that to you believe in them because this is what i'm getting in the read maybe this is a libra but i feel like they emotionally connect with you where they cannot connect with anybody else they do want to marry you but they have a lot of challenges to face here there's a lot they need to face before they can come to you that's what is happening okay but there's a new love happening there's a lot of love there's a lot of emotions they feel for you and i feel like this their love is just outgrowing their you know control like it's going coming out of their control like it's it's just you not talking to them is overwhelming this person like anything i feel like with that their love is just growing more and more and they want to connect with you like they're going desperate to talk to you this person is just so desperate to talk to you and i feel like they think that it's so hard but they're still going to work on it and they know that this connection deserves justice and they were going to fight for this connection no matter what okay that, that's what i'm seeing what else do i see for my libra here yeah the chariot i feel like the connection is going to sail through the challenges very very easily you guys never expected this but this is like an elephant in the house you guys have to face this no matter what if you guys can face this problem face the situation you guys are going to sail through okay so maybe this is a cancer but i'm sensing that you guys are emotionally going to come out of it very easily you guys are going to be married with each other this emotional growth this this a lot of sexual attraction between you guys is a lot of passion between you guys and i feel like there's nothing that can stop you guys from moving forward in life together so i'm seeing a forever relationship happening here so trust this do not doubt it okay just this person needs you to be supportive towards them so as this is a general read i feel like telling you that this might be a vice versa situation for some of you okay and then we have trust and then we have flirt and then we have religious factors like one of the reasons why this is not working out is also because you guys might be coming from a different backgrounds like a caste issue or a religion issue because of which some people are controlling this relationship and doesn't want it to flourish however the connection between you guys is so strong that you guys won't be able to control uh you know staying away from each other because there's a lot of trust there's a lot of passion i feel like you guys cannot control okay so this is nowhere gonna be ending anywhere so it's up to you so i feel like they want you to just give them a chance and trust them that this is going to work out somehow i feel like you're not able to trust them and this is like i feel there's a lot of burden in in the situation because there is involvement of a lot of different kinds of people in this connection so that's burdening you occupation some of you 34 you guys might be facing uh, job issues you guys might not be getting a job or you might be like facing um you know maybe you have a lot of work to do but you don't you're not paid well that is also what i'm seeing but this is just the beginning i feel like in future going down things are going to get better for you so don't think about money think about just practicing and polishing your skills So you might be wor uh, worked up because you might be having a lot of work, or you are not getting work. Whatever it is, things are gonna get um, worked out. Then we have set healthy boundaries. So I feel like somewhere you have to draw the line, okay, for certain situations. I feel like maybe there is an interference of someone from your family, someone from their family. 
it could be your past person it could be their past person but there's something that you're still you know um, let it slide you're, there's something that's um happening you know it that is not good it's toxic but you're letting it slide there's something that you're letting it slide that you should be setting up a healthy boundary for crystals are really going to help you and let me check which one malachite so this is a malachite basically this is a malachite so you can have your own malachite or i'm sensing um what other crystal can you use um, red jasper you can have that as well so i feel like that's going to keep you strong and going moving forward so i feel like a, a red jasper or a malachite will do which is uh which should be charged with uh, your intentions judgment don't try to you know judge every situation maybe um you need to just follow blindly is also what i'm getting so a mix of keeping a healthy boundary yet not judging too much look at the bigger picture so what the person wants in the end of the day they want you to trust them and they promise you marriage then look at the bigger picture if things are not working out the phases are very bad between you guys the challenges try to like uh, move past them and work it out rather than running away from those challenges because things are working out for sure if you don't give up so maybe this is a sagittarius um i feel like you're trying to control your situation you're trying to move away from this person whereas this person wants you to talk to them so somewhere i feel like you're controlling your heart you're not letting it open up and be more vulnerable and emotional towards your person and then we're having crown chakra archangel uriel 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 yeah so uriel is um basically um meant to activate your crown chakra which is um i feel like maybe you guys need to follow mentally like you have to use your mind rather than your heart over things and being more practical than emotional is going to work out in a lot of different ways for you even if uh, in your career uh, if you have an opportunity to go for a higher study this is a very strong message that you need to go for it some of you might be um 41 I see the signs that are coming forth for Libras please. Okay, maybe this is another Libra. This could be an Aquarius. This could be a Libra very strong and then we having Capricorn. One more please and then we having Cancer. I feel like this month is very strong for Cancer because I'm seeing Cancer in a lot of readings. Let's see the charts. um someone's name has c f e a fia fiona fiona something like that c r as well sifa elin fara so anything okay so i'm also seeing someone is a cat lover here um i'm seeing love flourishing so you have an opportunity in love coming in don't try to don't miss it by being very rigid okay maybe these are the letters in your name but i'm seeing this could be someone from america or caicos or um, california finland england it's also what i'm seeing asia china is also there basically all the countries are being covered here let's see from aries to pisces your person how do they feel for you okay how their behavior is going to be in this coming week let's see aries to pisces aries to pisces aries is like watching you secretly they might be showing you that they're too busy but deep inside they keep thinking about you they want some space taurus is sad because there's no communication very depressed Gemini is willing to take it forward and help you be there for you and take things to a next level. Cancer is I feel like they're observing you they're wondering when you will allow them to talk to you. Leo wants equal give and take they're going to fight for you. Virgo is taking it very very slowly because they don't know what to do because they really like you but they don't know what to do. Libra is very anxious of no no communication. 
Scorpio thinks you're their soulmate. You're the only one for them. Sagittarius wants to marry you. They are coming in with an offer. And Capricorn is bringing in a relationship offer or is bringing in strong commitment towards you. Then we have Aquarius is not able to sleep at night because you're not talking to them. And then we have Pisces is sometimes going into an emotionally down downhill like they're going downhill emotionally at times they feel very very sad and they really want to heal this and some sort of a reconciliation thing also that is it Libras I hope you've enjoyed the read do not forget to like and subscribe hit the bell notification and uh, share it also you can claim it by liking and subscribing this video and uh, follow me on Instagram I'll see you again bye